Hi everyone, welcome to sunny Beckenham Place Park. Me and Paul have found ourselves with some spare time and a lovely space to walk round. Now, I wanted to talk to you today um, about Poe. Poe is from the film Kung Fu Panda and his father is a duck who runs a soup business. He's got this really amazing soup that he produces and everyone thinks that it's that brilliant because there's a secret ingredient and his father keeps saying to him that he will tell him the secret ingredient one day because he'll take over the business but really Po who is a big large kind of heavyweight panda obviously adopted but that's not said in the film it's a really funny film by the way he doesn't really want to run the soup kitchen he wants to be a kung fu master and he idolizes the kung fu artists that are around them and they are like for the defense of the people so what happens is that unexpectedly he gets picked to be the dragon warrior because there's this um prophecy that the dragon uh, sorry, the, the guy, the um, tiger called Tai Long is going to come and defeat them and take over. And so he has to train to overcome this, um, this Tai Long. And he really doesn't think he can do it. And the guy training him, the, the master of Kung Fu, he thinks that he can't do it either. But the one over them says that, yes, he has been picked to do this and it's not by accident that he's been picked to be the dragon warrior. Now the master who's training him suddenly finds that Poe has got this love of food and he uses his love of food to train him. So where, what's my point in all of this? He trains up using this weakness of food and his father's always going on about the secret ingredient and one day his father says to him, Poe, I'm going to tell you the secret ingredient. And he says, the secret ingredient is, there is no secret ingredient. Which puzzles Poe completely. And so he's learned all this Kung Fu and he's become really, really powerful and good at it, surprisingly. And He's all set to have to defeat this Tylon character and he has to get the scroll to, to see um, some special message on, on how to defeat Tylon. I think that's how the story goes. Finally gets this scroll, opens it and it's blank. It's just like a shiny reflective scroll and staring back at him is his own face. And he puzzles about it for a long time and suddenly the penny drops and he says, looking at himself in the scroll the secret ingredient is there is no secret ingredient he knows then that he as well as anybody else is capable of defeating Tai Lon and the, the end of the story goes well actually I'm not going to tell you the end because I want you to watch Kung Fu Panda because it's so funny but what I'm trying to say is don't be intimidated by people around you that you think have got it all together, think are an amazing Christian, think that other people can do it far better than you. God is saying to you today, there is no secret ingredient. We all are his disciples. We all are capable of preaching the gospel because he has given us the ability. It's ordained. It was like, it's a, prof it's a prophecy in a way those who he has called to himself who've accepted him as lord and savior have got it within themselves by the power of the holy spirit to preach the gospel message to do the other things there might be things that you're aspiring to ideas that you have in your mind like poe wanted to be a kung fu expert there might be things that you are aspiring to things that for a long time you've been wanting to do well there is no secret ingredient, you can do it. And God says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and that is in his word. And so I just want you to be encouraged today 
even as we're in lockdown at the moment, to be thinking about what, what things that you, that God might want you to be doing, whether it's serving him specifically somehow in a church or whether it's doing some kind of future job or just something that you've always had in your heart to do, just remember that you can do all things because God gives you the strength. And that's what I wanted to say to you today. And now I'm going to show you the area of the park because it's so pretty. Say hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. <laughs> so remember, God created all this beauty and the creator who created you has put creativity in some form or other inside of you doesn't mean we're all going to be artists but whatever it is he's called you to do there's something inside of you that he's given you the ability to do there is no secret ingredient bye love you hope to see you all soon